Hello, this is Chris Manley with Manley Movers, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you uh, what to do with your liquids, how to pack them, all that. Um, so, just to show you what we're talking about, like kitchen liquids, right? I mean, I would consider peanut butter a liquid just because in Texas, it gets hot, and this stuff get hot, depending on how long it's going to be in the truck, it can start to get creamy. It can be a mess, uh, especially this oil, you know. Um, things that have already been opened, um, this kind of stuff. Um, throughout your move, be putting all this stuff to the side. Don't be putting it in any of your boxes, just get it out of the way. So like the last thing you do when you're packing is uh, do your liquid boxes. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to put this in your boxes. Okay, so like always, be uh, adding paper to the bottom of your box. If and just in the event that any of that did leak, uh, it would get soaked up by the paper. But uh, so we'll start with peanut butter. This one's so I I put it's been opened already. I put paper around this one. Um, mainly like always the glass always put paper around them. Make sure it's facing up in the box and make sure that everything is tight in the box so this can't like lean over if the box gets tilted or something. And always twist the caps. Always make sure the caps are, are tight on there. That's really important. You can see you want it to be nice and tight in there so nothing can spill over. So this is glass, we'll put paper. Glass. So, I'm gonna make sure you get a good look because this is really important. You see, it's in there nice and tight. None of this stuff is gonna be able to spill unless you were to just tip the box over. But, like I've said in my other videos, leave these boxes open. Do not close them because somebody could accidentally go and put them in the truck and put it on top of something and and that's what you don't want you want to put this in your car and if you can't put it in your car then it needs to be at the back of the truck so it's away from everything else okay so moving on to cleaners and stuff right um while these got like little spray things it's good to make sure that all those are on tight and like turn those to the off position, you know, like this. That's something you can't help. If, if something presses on that, shh, it's coming out. There's nothing you can do about it other than to make sure nothing's on top of it. Right? So things like this, things like this, also things like this, anything that can spray out, also things like this, hand sanitizer, uh, 
all these sprays, all that stuff. Also things like this, um, candles too. Um, believe it or not, uh, candles, you know, it gets hot in Texas. They will melt and they will become a big, big mess uh, just from the heat here. So a candle can become a liquid. So treat it as one. Okay, so I'm gonna start by showing you how to pack all those kinds of things. Um, so we'll start with these, make sure it's off. Stop, it's off. You don't really need paper in between this kind of thing because it's plastic, you know, just make sure the tops are screwed on good. Um, off So I'm going to show you. <clears throat> All right. So this is how it should be. Everything nice and tight so nothing can move. You notice it's off. Off, but also facing away. So that trigger, there's nothing that can push that trigger to make it squeeze. You know, like this too. Always have those triggers facing to where nothing can push on them. You know? Same here, see the triggers facing away from everything. This one is one, that one that if you anything touches it, it's gonna shoot out. So this box is done. You don't wanna put anything else on top of things like that because any little pressure on that, you know is gonna just spray until that can's empty. And then you know that's gonna be a really big mess. So this is the best thing to do with your liquids. Always add paper at the bottom, just in case something spills. It's gonna soak it up and always always leave them open that way they do not go on your truck in the middle of your truck or beginning of your truck you want this at the end of your truck